Good morning! Jamie and I are here at the Bear Lake Trailhead inside the Rocky Mountain National Park once again. And as you can see, there are a lot of people here. Today, we're going to be going for Andrew's Tarn. It should be pretty easy, looking at a little over four miles with a 2,000 foot elevation gain. And we're starting here at about 6 a.m. We're heading on over to the fire trail. This is actually the bee hike today. <laughs> Originally, we were going to try and go do Spectacle Lakes. However, with all the smoke, it was really bad at the Lawn Lake Trailhead. So we had to call a quick audible. We came up to the Bear Lake Trailhead. And now we're going to do Andrew's Tarn instead. And the air is much better up here. I mean, this is almost like normal. Every video, every time. You know I'm going to put this part in. And just past this first nice bridge, this is where we're going to split off and head up the fire trail. And in 40 minutes, We've made it up the fire trail, and we're getting ready to split off over to Lock Vale, point eight. And in one hour and five minutes, we're up here to the lock, and we have zero wind. Look at that water. We're getting some amazing views up here right now. I mean, there's no wind. This is really peaceful and quiet. There are hardly any other people up here right now, too. Only two others. That is looking up at the Andrews Glacier. Andrews Tarn is right at the base of it. And that's where we're heading next. And I've never noticed this little extra part here to the south. Pretty cool. It's like the more we come around the lock, the better the views are getting. And making our way around the side of the lock, there's an elk like right here. I was in a bad spot just then. The babies were right behind me. Right here at this water crossing is where we want to take the right and head it on over to Andrews Camp. And then this is also where the trail continues. We made our way past the campsite and we're pretty much heading directly up to the tarn. However, we're in a race now against the smoke. It's starting to roll in. It's getting a little hard to breathe. So we got to step on it.
right guys, and we're getting close. We basically just need to work it up to the left of that snow, up onto that little shelf. And that's where Andrew's tarn is. We're getting really close. We're at about 10,900 right now. But my God, that looks way up there. And you can see looking back in the direction that we have come from, it's pretty smoky back there. And it seems to be coming this way. We're really close. We're just under that final snow field. And like I said, we need to work our way up to the left of it here. And then we'll be up at Andrew's Tarn. And this final section is incredibly steep. I mean, we're just like going straight up. All right. And in two and a half hours on the nose, we're up here, Andrew's Tarn. And that's Andrews Glacier behind it. And that thing's looking pretty melted right now, honestly. I've never seen it that small before. It's about 10 o'clock, and we've been sitting up at Andrew's Tarn for a good hour and 10 minutes. However, it's time to go. It's time to head on back. Way out there in the distance is the lock. We're basically gonna have to hike to the far end of it. Right here at this big black rock with the little rocks on the side of it, it's kind of a split in the trail. You can either go down right here, and this takes you down to where the water is. There's some cairns that lead the way. However, that's a restoration area, and I don't believe you're really supposed to be down there. So instead, you want to split and stay to the left of that rock, and there's a really nice trail up here. Awesome! After 40 minutes of hiking down from Andrew's Tarn, we're back on the main trail. We made it back down to the lock. So I'd say we're roughly halfway back. We're back to the Bear Lake Trailhead. What a great hike. And the day was pretty nice too. I mean, we caught a little bit of smoke, but it wasn't too bad. 
I think we're looking at a total of over eight miles and well over a 2,000 foot elevation gain. It took us two hours to get back down. Hope you enjoyed that hike. Until the next one, y'all, peace.